Hello, hello, everybody. Welcome to this week's messages for November 10th to the 16th of 2019. And let's see. 2020 readings are going to be coming out soon as well as the November readings. So make sure you're subscribed or signed up for my newsletter. Link is in the description box if you care to know that. And let me go ahead and just get started with some oracle cards for everybody. Also, I have a discount code for the Affirmators, just in case you want this deck. It's in the description. Engagement. Today, I make the conscious choice to engage with the world in an active way. I'll take a new route and talk to strangers. I will smell the flowers and pet dogs and maybe walk around barefoot for a while if I'm not inside a 7-Eleven. At the very least, I'll have a day that's slightly more interesting than average. And at most, I'll have a startling epiphany or make a new <laughs> or make a friend who will change my life forever. No pressure. This is just about getting present with your environment more than anything else, and it's very easy to become disconnected, so this is a reminder to just find your way back to connection however you can. And we have seek inspiration in unusual places. Don't rule anything out, whether it be an experience or something new to try. It's just about the attempt and seeing what comes through from that space. So keep your eyes peeled, keep your notebooks out, stay open to inspiration. And we have vulnerability. Take the first uncomfortable step. Don't wait for others. Tell someone how you feel. Do it respons Be responsible as you do it. Lead others through the pulsing of your open heart. So this is definitely a good week to speak up, tell others how you feel or what's going on for you. It's not about whether or not the other person can receive it, right? It, especially if that's coming from a space of wounding. That's not what you want to put all of your eggs in. You want to make sure that it's for you. That's the point of vulnerability. Let's see what is going on this week. Ace of Cups, self-care, getting your energy reserves back online. This more than anything else has to do with the, like if you've been expending a lot of energy, it's time to call it back. So that seems to be the main theme of this week. A lot of reflection, you know, we're still in this Mercury retrograde period. And so just using that as a way to gather your strength. And then we also have judgment, final decisions. I think this is something that you've already done. Just because I am like, oh, this card belongs over here. That's telling me that it's kind of already passed and out of the picture. So maybe it's been intention setting for you or you've asked for something specific or maybe you have a really clear vision and so this is just about refilling your tank so that you can get to that space. And then we have the Wheel of Fortune. So you're really going to want to make sure you're leaving room, leaving space for good things, for miracles, for the right relationships, for the right opportunities, the right intuitive hit. And I have the Seven of Wands. Okay, so not needing to fight so hard. This is about relaxing into the things that you want rather than trying to force it so much, right? It doesn't mean you don't take action. You have to take action. You have to, you know, get the ball rolling and create movement with the physical world. That's really important. But sometimes if you're holding on so tight to something that it's kind of like you're you're restricting God, essentially, by putting so many blocks and limitations up and you're trying to force things so much that it kind of takes the magic out of the human experience. It just kind of doesn't leave a lot of room for flexibility and nuance and all that good stuff. So you want to make sure that you're kind of leaving some breathing room for that. And... What else do we have going on this week? Six of Cups. This is about nostalgia, 
in large part, a lot of people consider this to be like a children card um, or a soulmate card. So I think maybe you could be having a lot of inner child stuff come up this week or being more in tune with what your inner child needs. That's kind of how you can do a large part of healing is paying close attention to that part of yourself. So however that's showing up, it seems that the Six of Cups is just a reminder that you're going to want to keep an eye on that part of yourself and know that it, it wants to process and wants to be acknowledged. And then we have the Hermit underneath. I'm going to clarify this one. Knight of Knives. Okay, so it seems like you might need to uh, literally take some time for yourself just to get centered with maybe what it is that you're what you're doing. Like I'm actually seeing this as taking inventory, doing some evaluating, giving back to yourself, kind of checking in each step of the way. And so if this is a slower or a quieter week where you're really just giving to yourself, filling your cup, paying attention to what you really, really need, don't worry about it. It seems like it's it's needed at this point in time. I'm going to clarify the Six of Cups as well. Okay, Six of Wands. So it's kind of like the victory comes from paying attention to this part of yourself. If you really, really are needing something, right? If there's a part of you that is not getting the attention, love, and care that it needs, it's going to start to bug you more and more. It's going to get louder. So you can't suffocate that part of yourself. So you just have to pay close attention to okay, I have this objective or this thing that I want to make happen. But if there's issues in getting to that destination, you want to pay attention to what are the aches and pains that are coming up that need your attention, love, care, all of that stuff. So you can open up the doors again. Remember, trying to force it too much or trying to restrict what's happening isn't actually going to let things flow for you. So I think that this is about finding your flow this week and understanding that sometimes you do need to be mindful of how much energy you're giving to what and how much you're paying attention to yourself or ignoring yourself. And then taking action from that space. All right, we're going to do a three card pick. Pick a card, any card, whatever feels good to you. Ask a question or pause the video if you need some more time. Card number one, we have the Five of Swords. So the nice thing about this is it's like the end of the battle, the end of the confusion, which is kind of what the Judgment card was highlighting. It's moving away from things being so difficult or so challenging or so confusing, like you're kind of freed and absolved of the the friction that was happening before, but it actually signals the end of something challenging. So you kind of are coming off of something really difficult or really in a lot of intensity so just take that for what it's worth. But see, this is why self-care is getting pushed so hard in this reading. Because if you're still in this state of, I need to fight really hard or I need to exert a whole bunch of energy, then um, that can persist. But just remember, if you know this is what you have been experiencing, the friction, the frustration then this can be something that mellows out and just gets easier over time. So just take that for what it's worth. And then card number two, we have temperance, balance, equilibrium, finding this and cultivating this within yourself. It's all about how you are, again, it's like giving back to yourself, filling your tank, finding where something may have been totally out of whack. Remember, you guys know that I remind you, temperance and balance does not mean 50-50. It means weaving in something that is missing or like an element that's really missing from what you have going on. That's going to be what helps and supports you. Okay, and then card number three, 
we have the Eight of Wands, Eight of Rods. So this is high speed. What you would want to keep in mind, maybe it's the situation that you're asking about is moving faster than you might be realizing, whether or not you're seeing that environmentally or not. Remember, you don't have all the information because you're human. If you're watching this, you're a human being. So there's no way that you <laughs> know absolutely everything about all the, all the facets of information that are going on. So try to understand that things are moving faster than what you're feeling in the present moment. And also be mindful of burnout. The reason why I'm saying this is because if you're moving really fast and it's something where you kind of lean into pushing yourself to the extreme, it, this can quickly shift into like the Ten of Rods instead, the Ten of Wands. Okay, so you just have to be mindful of that. Like just keep a close eye on your pace and that's going to be a big help for you. Okay, so that's all that I have for today. Thank you so much. All right, everybody, that's all that I have for you today. Thanks for hanging out with me. Don't forget to check out the description box if you'd like to work with me. Akashic Record sessions are now available if you would like to get one of those or if you need support. Intuitive counseling sessions are available as well. And all the other good stuff that I have to offer down in the description box. All of the decks that I've used are listed down there. And I will talk to you all later. Have a good one. Bye-bye.